Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back as we continue to create a binary search tree project in C++. In this tutorial, we're going to begin to write some functions that will remove a node from our binary search tree. So we're going to first create a function in the public section of our class. And so for this prototype, we're going to give it a void return type since it does not need to return anything. And we'll just go ahead and call this one remove node. And then from our main program, we just want to be able to pass in the key value pertaining to the node that we want to delete. So we've got that prototype set up. What our remove node function is going to do is it will simply start the recursive process by calling a remove node private function. So let's go ahead and copy this and create the private function prototype by just simply changing this name to private. And then this one will also need to pass in a node pointer. And we're going to call this node pointer parent rather than PTR. So let's go ahead and copy this remove node function down here. Go ahead and paste that into our binary search tree.cpp file. And then we'll grab the other one and do the same here. Just copy that and we'll go ahead and paste that one here. And then we'll just go ahead and make sure that our program knows that we're defining these from the binary search tree class. So we'll put BST colon colon in front of both of those. And then we'll go ahead and exchange these semicolons with curly braces. And we'll do the same for this one as well. So the remove node function, this is the one that is going to be the public function. We're going to call the remove node function from our main.cpp file. All we really want to have to worry about when we're testing this is we want to worry about what node we want to delete. What key value are we wanting to get rid of? So all we're going to do is we're just going to have the remove node function call the remove node private function. And we're going to give it the key value that we want to remove. And then we're also going to make sure that it starts its recursive process at the root. So the remove node private function is going to be the private function that recursively takes care of removing the node. So the first thing we're going to do in the remove node private function is we're going to take a look at the root pointer and we're going to check to see if the tree is empty or not and so we're going to say okay if the root pointer is not equal to null then that means we have some nodes in our tree and we'll need to write some code so we'll go ahead and take care of that section if there is something in the tree on the other hand our tree is empty and if that's the case we're just going to print a message to the screen that lets us know that there's nothing in our tree. So we'll say the tree is empty, if that's the case. And we'll put a new line there and that with a semicolon. Right here where I've written code, we're going to go ahead and write code for the case that our tree is not empty. If our tree is not empty, the first thing we want to look at is does the root node contain the match? Does it contain the key that we're trying to remove? So let's go ahead and check for that case. So if the key that's inside of the root node if that is the same as the key that we want to remove from the tree, then what we're going to do, and I'm not going to do this in this tutorial, but in one of the next tutorials, I'm going to write this helper function, and I'm going to name this function remove root match. That won't need to take any arguments, and we'll just end that statement with a semicolon. So I have not yet written this function. I will be writing that in one of the next few tutorials, but essentially that's what's going to happen. If we have a match in the root, we're simply just going to call this helper function to delete that root and reconstruct the tree so that it retains its binary search tree properties. If we do not have a match in the root, we're going to take care of that inside of this else portion right here. So if the root does not contain the match, then we're going to just look at the left child. So the way we do that is we'll say if the key that we want to remove from the tree has a value that is less than the key in the node that we're currently looking at. And then also we want to check to make sure the current node's left pointer is actually pointing to something. So we'll say parent arrow left not equal to null. And then we'll go ahead and do some stuff in there. So what we're saying here is, is if the key that we want to remove has a value less than the current node's key that we're looking at, then we're going to want to look down that left pointer 
as long as that left pointer is actually pointing to something. So if this is the case, we're going to take care of this by using the conditional operator. So we're going to make a Boolean statement. So parent is pointing to the current node that we're looking at. We're going to check that node's left child and then look at that left child's key. And if that left child has the key value we're trying to delete, then what we're going to do is we're going to execute code one. Otherwise, we're going to execute code two. So this is basically saying if the parent's left child contains a key value that is equal to the key value we're trying to delete, then this will be the stuff we do. Code two, you can think of as the else part of that if statement. So if this statement is true, what we're going to do is we're going to call another function that I have not yet written. We're going to call this function remove match. And what the remove match function is going to do is it's going to pass in a pointer pointing to the current node we're looking at, and then it's also going to pass in a pointer to the left child. So we're going to say parent arrow left, and then one other condition we're going to pass into our remove match function when we write it is we're going to have a Boolean variable. It's going to either be true or false, and it's referring to whether or not we're passing in the left child to the remove match function. So to specify that, I'm just going to create a Boolean variable when I define the remove match function. And for this case, I'm going to call it true because we are passing in the left child. So if this Boolean condition up here is not true, we're going to execute code two. This will be a recursive process right here. So if this is the case, then we're going to have code two call the remove node private function. So we'll go ahead Ahead and call the remove node private function here remove node private and then we'll pass in the key value that we want to delete and then we'll pass in a pointer to the left child and then we'll end this with a semicolon here so essentially what we're doing is in this if statement up top here we've already checked to make sure that the key value is less than the current key value in the node we're looking at and we also check to make sure that our nodes left pointer is actually pointing to a node so then we go down here and then we check to see if the left nodes key matches if it does then we're going to call this helper function to go ahead and remove that node from the tree Otherwise, we're going to recursively call the remove node private function and this left node now becomes the parent node in the next recursive iteration. So if this isn't the case, we're going to check if the value of the key we want to remove is greater than the key in the current node we're looking at. So we're essentially going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. And then rather than an if statement, we're going to need an else if statement. So if the first if statement wasn't true, then it's going to check to see if this statement is true. And instead of less than, we're going to change this to greater than. Instead of looking at the left child, this time we want to see if the right child is pointing to something or not. If this condition is true now, we're going to check to see if that right child's key, so we'll just say change this to right here. We're gonna to check to see if the right child's key is equal to the key we're looking to remove. And if it is, we're going to pass in the pointer that is is pointing to the current node which we're calling parent and instead of the left child we want to be passing in a pointer to the right child and then this boolean condition which I'm going to name a left is going to be false since we are going to be dealing with the right child. So the next thing we want to do is if this condition was not true here, then we want to recursively move down the right pointer. So we'll go ahead and change this to right as well. So then the very last condition we need to check is we'll go ahead and put an else statement here. And if we get to this point, that means that the key that we were looking for wasn't actually in the tree. So we'll just do a C out statement here and we'll say the key, and then we'll go ahead and print out what that key is, and then we'll just go ahead and say was not found in the tree, and then do a new line here, and end that with a semicolon. So let's go ahead and scroll up here and get rid of some of this empty space. And so this is going to be the entire remove node private function now. So in the next couple tutorials, we need to go ahead and define these helper functions that we're calling here. 
the remove match function and also the remove root match function. So I'll be defining those in the next couple tutorials and then we'll go ahead and test it all and make sure that everything works. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. Have an excellent day and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.